Hey Spartans, during this episode of Spartan DIY, we're going to look at a basic method for making your very own Hercules hoist, giving you the chance to get some specific practice in on one of Spartan's signature obstacles. For making the Hercules hoist, you will need a 13mm D shackle, a length of 19mm metal pipe, a heavy duty tie down or lashing strap, and a long length of strong rope. Preferably a thickness that fits easily inside the D shackle, but thick enough to hold on to. Tools wise, grab a ruler and a pencil, a hacksaw, a set of multi grips or a shifter, a round and a flat file, and some wet and dry sandpaper. Also, having access to a vise will make things a lot easier and safer as well. First up, grab your D shackle and measure the inside edge around the yellow pin, aiming to find the narrowest side. On this D shackle, I'll need to measure this side. On yours, it may be here. Next, use the measurement from the D shackle to mark out a length on the metal pipe. By working your way around the pipe with multiple measurements, you can join the marks to create a straight line, which will come in handy for the next step. Alternatively, you can use some masking tape and wrap it around the pipe to also create a guide. Using your hacksaw, you'll need to cut the metal pipe to the length you've just marked. Now this can be the tricky part, so using a vise to hold the pipe securely so you can make a straight cut safely and effectively is your best bet here. Be mindful of making a nice straight cut with your hacksaw on the pipe. That way you'll have less chance of it jamming up on your D shackle when you start using the Hercules hoist. Once you've made the cut, be very careful of the ends as the hacksaw can create some really sharp burrs and edges on the pipe. So grab the flat file and inspect the ends of the pipe filing the edges down to make it smooth and safe to touch. Next, grab the sheet of wet and dry sandpaper and lay it out flat on a stable surface, taking the pipe from the vise and sanding the ends so they are smooth. Aim to hit the edges as well, rounding them over so there is nothing that can catch or damage the rope. Also, inspect the inside of the pipe as well and use the round file to smooth out any ridges on the inside surface of the pipe so it can roll smoothly on the shackle pin. Once the pipe is smooth and its edges have been rounded, unscrew the D shackle and place the pipe over the yellow pin, pushing it back and screwing it back into place. Use a set of multi grips or a shifter to tighten it up securely. As an option, you can add some grease to the inside of the pipe before putting it on the D shackle to minimize friction and to help that pipe roll nice and smoothly. Now, if you find that the pipe jams up and it won't roll, then it may mean that the pipe is too big for the D shackle. So just go back a step, sand it and file it a little bit more until it fits and rolls smoothly on the D shackle. That's all the hard stuff done. All that's left is to find an overhead attachment point and string up the hoist. Just be sure that it's strong enough to support the load and when in doubt, get a professional to check it out. Use the heavy duty tie down to hang up the D shackle, threading it through the round end twice before locking it out. Make sure you thread the tie down through the back end of the cam buckle, otherwise the tie down will slip and your hoist will fall down under load. Feed the rope through the straight side of the D shackle so that it can work its way over the rolling pipe to minimize friction. As you can see, this is why the edges of the pipe need to be straight and smooth so it can roll nice and freely. In terms of rope length, it's better to have too much than not enough. So don't worry about the excess, just tuck it out of the way. By having a longer rope, it just gives you a lot more options in terms of different height setups that you might want to try out. Lastly, grab a sandbag, kettlebell, dumbbell or weight plate and secure the weight by feeding the rope through and tying a bowline knot. This is done by looping the long side of the rope, then feeding the end through the loop, around the top, then back through the loop and then pull it all tight. To practice the basics, you don't have to set the Hercules hoist up too high as you can just practice hoisting reps lower down. However, you can string it up nice and high to get a real feel of the true obstacle. Once you get the hang of things, try adding some extra weight to your Hercules hoist so you can really get a feel for how that full body pulling action works. So there you have it, a Hercules hoist to practice up on. Although it may seem a bit fiddly at the start, once you get that piece of pipe made, everything else is easy. Really though, all we've done is made a basic pulley, which is very similar to the real obstacle out on course. You can actually buy a pulley if you don't want to make one, but pulleys will feel a lot easier to use over what you'll experience at any Spartan race. By making your own, you're getting something very close to the real thing. 
ensuring that you'll develop all the strength and skill that you'll need to ace the Hercules hoist. All without a burpee in sight.